My father was a voice of reason. He taught us and gave us a methodology and a means by which to learn how to coexist in a very diverse society, how to treat people with dignity and honor the personhood of every individual on the face of the earth, regardless of their background. Well, our father had a favorite scripture, Acts 17, 26, of one blood God made all people to dwell on the face of the earth. So we have a unique understanding that we are not separate races, but we are human beings. And then her dad, it was one of my favorite quotes. You quoted that this morning uh, at, the ser- at the church service. We must learn to live together as brothers, and I add as sisters, or perish as fools. So can you expound on that? Because you did talk about that this morning. In terms of... Learning to live yeah, together as I mean, brothers we, and we, sisters. We do. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know, although we are of the same race, um, we have to, to learn to coexist with our differences. One of the things I've noticed, and the reason I thought this dialogue was important, is because it has really um, been heavy on my heart seeing people divide who have been close to each other. Some sure. people sleeping in different bedrooms <laughs> because of the recent um, election and people's support for one candidate or perhaps even another. Um, and, you know, be, because uh, frankly, I've been taught another way. You know, I, I really believe what the scripture says to me, which is love your enemies, bless them that curse you. And the part we skip over, but is very critical, is do good to them that hate you. That's right. We want to hate them back. Sure. What, what, right. Were either of you tempted to say, girl, what were you thinking? Oh, she does that all the time, and I do oh, that. Yeah, we do I, that definitely. constantly. <laughs> definitely. Then, I'm, I've been saying that for a long oh. time because, you know, although I don't profess to be a Democrat, I vote my conscience. I've never voted for a Republican. Um, and so, but, but she's been a Republican. And a Democrat. And, I was elected as yeah, a Democrat. Yeah, you, you were. Yeah, I was. But not no more. <laughs> not. And just for the record, my father was not a registered Republican. He was not. Mo- most, most people before Kennedy in the African-American community, just for the record, voted Republican. I mean, that was the yeah. party of Abraham Lincoln. Um, and that changed after um, President Kennedy. So let's keep that part clear. But your daddy said but he had to talk to the Dixiecrat. He or had the to talk to all. And, and he wasn't going to take either side because he have, may have to go correct any of them. Exactly. And I think that's what's so yeah. important because I tell people all the time, at the end of the day, you know, whoever's in the White House, it's important that we have access to the White House. And I just thank God I got a little bit access with President Trump because, yeah. you know, if, if we just all stand on the outside and we don't have any access to really share and help people to understand the important issues, then we'll never get there. We just can't be mad, shut the door, and walk away um, and, and scream and shout on the outside. We do need access well, wait, to wait, the wait. inside and work with all parties because we're going to have to get there through a bipartisanship uh, process. Now we must act. Use the hashtag Let's Bridge. We welcome your donations to the King Center on our Facebook page or dreamforwardfund.org. That's dreamforwardfund.org. We also give special thanks to our sponsor, the AIDS Healthcare Foundation. Special thanks to our partner, the Martin Luther King Jr. Advisory Council. Let's bridge young people this summer with Camp Now. For more information, visit us at choosenonviolence.org.